With prices that have been skyrocketing in the last few years, mobility has become more expensive than ever, out of reach for many. And for that reason, Toyota decided to go in the opposite direction, to offer a pickup that's simple and super cheap. A pickup that has huge potential to become a bestseller. Can it make it to the US market? Stay with us to find out as Toyota CEO introduces an all-new $12,000 pickup truck and shakes up the whole industry. The new champion is here. A month ago, we saw Toyota's new pickup for the first time in a concept form, and we were amazed by its honest, straightforward design approach that puts focus on functionality and affordability. And believe it or not, it's already set for serial production. While the concept was named the IMV0 based on the IMV platform it rides on, the serial production model rather uses a way more favorable name. It comes as the Toyota Hilux Champ, with a moniker borrowed from Toyota's best-selling and most iconic pickup and added the Champ suffix, which clearly indicates that the Japanese Japanese manufacturer has big ambitions for the new pickup. The serial production version has just been presented in Thailand, the land of pickups. But unlike North America, where pickups are often too big, too luxurious, and therefore too expensive, pickups in this part of the world serve their true purpose. In Thailand, they're meant for work. So we could all agree that Toyota chose the perfect environment for the premiere. According to officials, the Asian market is the primary focus, but soon enough, we'll be seeing it in Africa, the Middle East, etc. But many sources already suggest its arrival in North America too. The Maverick's high demand clearly shows that American drivers are in urgent need of a cheap pickup, and with a price that could potentially be two times lower compared to Ford's Udabody Crew Cab pickup, we could already imagine the level of success. Style and practicality can go together. When you put affordability and functionality together, you usually don't expect to see something that's also visually appealing. Well, that's not the case with the Hilux Champ, because it actually looks surprisingly attractive. We already said that for the IMV0, and fortunately, the production version looks pretty much identical. The same front face is there, with design elements that are modern and appealing, but at the same time, the Hilux Champ comes with lots of exterior details that clearly say that this is a utility vehicle. Just look at those massive areas covered with unpainted plastics. They look quite utility but not only that they don't disrupt, but they actually add up to the truck's visual appearance. Also interesting is the actual size of the pickup. With such an affordable price, it makes perfect sense to expect a pickup with tiny dimensions, but the Hilux Champ isn't tiny at all. Moreover, it features quite respectable dimensions. The standard, or short wheelbase model if you like, features a 108.3-inch wheelbase at a total length of 185.2 inches. On the other hand, the long wheelbase model is good for about 121.5 inches between the axles and up to 198.4 inches in length, which is pretty much on par with the two times more expensive Ford Maverick. As for the other measurements, the Hilux Champ is 70.3 inches wide and 68.3 inches tall. All that flexibility. About a month ago, when we saw the concept version of the new pickup, one of the most interesting things was that set of rendering photos that showed all kinds of variants of the pickup. We saw an ambulance vehicle, a food truck, an off-roader, a camper, and many other layouts. And the production version carries on in the same way, so we may expect this pickup in various layouts to serve various purposes. From the factory lines, there will be two basic variants coming, a pickup and a chassis cab version. The former features a pretty respectable cargo bed with a flat floor and folding sides. The latter is completely naked and will allow the installation of all kinds of accessories. In both cases, Toyota pre-drilled numerous holes so customers could easily attach desired accessories and equipment their specific jobs require. Speaking of that, the officials said that there will be over a hundred aftermarket brands providing accessories for this particular model only in Thailand, which means those rendered pickups are just some of the many configurations we'll be seeing on the road. Good ol' IMV platform. The concept version of the Hilux Champ was called IMV0 for a reason. It's the name of the platform that underpins this pickup, a platform that was designed two decades ago, and even though it's reserved for just a handful of models, it plays an important role in Toyota's history, because it's been underpinning the company's most important pickup, the Hilux. And now the same architecture is used for this cheap and relatively small pickup, which in practice means so many benefits. First of all, although cheap and simple, this is a genuine truck, which means that unlike most small and affordable pickups, this one isn't car-based. 
No, this is a true work machine that rides on the same body-on-frame chassis as the regular Hilux, with a ladder frame that ensures excellent rigidity and excellent work potential. After all, officials already came up with a max payload capacity of 1 ton or 2,200 pounds, which is way above the potential unibody competition. Other similarities with the standard Hilux are also quite beneficial, starting from the suspension setup, which includes a nice double wishbone layout at the front and a durable solid axle on the rear end. Of course, this platform also means a classic FR layout with a longitudinally mounted engine and rear-wheel drive, which in practice means much higher towing potential compared to pickups like the Maverick, which are front-wheel drive. Powertrain Lineup Back to the Japan Mobility Show, officials talked about the full electrification of this pickup. We have no doubt that this will happen in the future, but for now, the Hilux Champ is offered with three internal combustion powertrain options. The base engine is definitely one of the reasons for such an attractive starting price, as we're talking about a 2-liter naturally aspirated inline 4 that puts out no more than 137 horsepower and 135 pound-feet of torque. For those who are looking for something peppier, there's also a bigger 2.7-liter inline-4, which you know very well from the now-previous generation Tacoma. That engine puts out around 164 horsepower and 181 pound-feet of torque, and unlike the base engine, which comes coupled with an old 5-speed manual, uses a more convenient 6-speed automatic. Finally, there's a diesel version which represents the top of the offer. We're talking about the same 2.4-liter four-cylinder turbo diesel that can be found under the hood of a Hilux, with a max output of around 150 horsepower and up to 295 pound-feet of torque. Of course, this unit offers the best driving dynamics of the three thanks to the massive torque, while we also like the fact that it could be coupled with either a 5-speed manual or 6-speed automatic. As we've already mentioned, the engine is mounted longitudinally, so rear-wheel drive is standard. For now, there's no word about the four-wheel drive version, but we presume that could happen too in the future. Interior, simple and functional. Once you take a look at the new Hilux, you'll notice something strange. There is no infotainment screen. This could be the only new vehicle in the automotive industry that doesn't come with this feature, but we don't mind at all. The dashboard actually looks nice, even though it's wrapped in hard plastics completely. Everything looks so simple and straightforward. Even the center console comes with no more than a few controls, while the instrument cluster is analog. To us, such a bare-bone pickup is actually refreshing, and we don't even mind that windows are manual in the entry-level versions. What this cabin doesn't lack is practicality, as there are numerous small compartments all around the cabin. And even though there is just a single row, the passenger seat is pretty wide, so three people could accommodate pretty easily. Since the initial version was presented for the Thailand market, it isn't a surprise that there is no heating in the truck. On the other hand, climate control is part of the standard equipment. Also standard are a couple of safety features such as two front airbags and anti-lock brakes. Behind the cabin, there could be a cargo bed or just a chassis, depending on the variant you pick. In the case of the pickup version, you get an impressive amount of space, especially with the long wheelbase version, which features an 8.7-foot unit, which is nearly two times longer than the Maverick's 4.5-foot cargo bed. Even the short wheelbase version is pretty impressive, with its 7.5-foot bed. Will the Hilux Champ come to North America? With just a few modifications, the Hilux Champ could become a huge success in North America. Super affordable price, impressive bed length, and solid payload capacity are just some of the reasons why many would cancel their Maverick order in no time. For now, officials are still quiet, but there are many reliable sources that claim Toyota is seriously considering offering the Hilux Champ on the US market. The Thailand market version starts at around 459,000 baht, which would be a little bit over $13,000 according to the current exchange rates. A pickup with that price tag would definitely shake up the whole US pickup truck market. Thanks for watching and see you next time.